Good afternoon and welcome to the New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Landmarks, Public Sightings and Dispositions. At this time, can everybody please silence your cell phones. If you wish to testify, please come up to the Sergeant at Arms desk to fill out a testimony slip. At this time and going forward, no one is to approach the dais. I repeat, no one is to approach the dais. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair, we are ready to begin. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the meeting of the Subcommittee on Landmarks, Public Sightings, and Disposition. I am Councilmember Camila Hanks, and I'm the chair of the subcommittee. Today, I'm joined by my colleagues, Councilmember Marte, Nurse, and Salam. Before we begin to, with today's agenda, I will remind everyone that this meeting is being held in a hybrid format. For members of the public who wish to testify remotely, we ask that you first register online, and you may do so now by visiting www.council.nyc.gov forward slash land use to sign up and then uh, you can sign up into the zoom and remain signed in until you have testified for anyone with us today in person wishing to testify if you have not already done so please see one of the sergeants to fill out a speaker's card we will call your name at the appropriate time for anyone wishing to submit written testimony on the items being heard today we ask that you please send it via email to land use testimony at council.nyc.gov including the land use include the land use number and or project name in the subject line of your email video and audio testimony will not be accepted i remind members of the public that this is a government proceeding and the decorum shall be observed at all times this such members of the public shall remain silent unless called on to testify. The witness table is reserved for people who wish to testify. No video recording or photography is allowed from the witness table. Further, members of the public may not pr present audio or video recording as testimony, but may submit transcripts of such recordings to the sergeant for inclusion for the hearing record. Okay, so on today's agenda, we have hearings on LU 6397-22, Crest Hill Place, a disposition of city-owned property in Council Member Williams District in Queens. LU 52 and 62, a continuation of hearings on the Melrose Concourse NCP, specifically on the acquisition and Article 11 real property tax exemption components of the project in Council Member Stevens District in the Bronx. We will also hold several votes. Before we begin today's hearings and votes, I would like to note that a disposition application by the Department of Citywide Administrative Services for 7 North Moore Street under ULERP C24022 PPM located in Council Member Marte's District in Manhattan has been withdrawn by the applicant. Pursuant to a written statement dated April 5th, 2024, the application has withdrawn while the ULERP, while in ULERP, but prior to being called up by the council. Now it is void and no longer under ULERP review. I will now open the public hearing for LU 63 regarding 97-22 Crest Hill Place, located in Jamaica, Queens, and council member Williams's district. In this application, the Department of Citywide Administrative Services seeks disposition of approval of city-owned property currently under the jurisdiction of the New York City Department of Sanitation. So appearing today in the proposal is Michael Zwart, Department of Sanitation of DSNY. So we have Chris Grove from the Department of Citywide Services Council. Sorry. Okay. Council, Pan would you please administer the affirmation? Panelists, would you please raise your right hand and state your name for the record? Michael Portuguese Hart. Um, put on the microphone. Michael Portuguese Hart. And I'm Chris Grove from DCAS. And do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony? before this subcommittee and an answer to all council member questions? Uh, yes. Yes. Thank you, applicant panelists. Please begin and please let us know if you're ready to share your presentation. Our staff will display it on the screen. Which Perfect, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Michael Portuguese-Swart. 
I'm a city planner at the New York City Department of Sanitation. I'm uh, presenting on the proposed uh, disposition ULERP action for the property located at 9722 Cresthill Place, Block 10011, Lot 14, located in the Jamaica neighborhood of Queens. The Department of Sanitation is joined by our colleagues at the Department of Citywide Administrative Services. Next slide, please. This is a map showing the property located at 9722 Cresco Place uh, between 97th Street and 101st Avenue. Next slide, please. This property was in use as a Department of Sanitation section station from 1930 until 2016. Section stations serve as break facilities for sanitation employees that are out in the field. <clears throat> These facilities provide employees with locker rooms, bathrooms, and places for them to eat their meals. Additionally, the site was used to store archival documents. Next slide, please. Lot 14 is approximately 25 feet wide and 100 feet in depth with an area of approximately 2,567 square feet. Uh, the building is uh, in an R5 zone district, which allows for three and four story attached houses and small apartment houses. Uh, next slide, please. This is uh, the zoning map showing the property uh, location. Next slide. The building was in use until 2016 when it suffered water damage resulting from a flood. Thereafter, the section station functions were relocated to the Queens 12 garage located 130-23, 150th Avenue. It has since been cleared out and secured by DSNY. Next slide, please. Since the closing of the facility in 2016, the building has remained unused. DSNY has considered repurposing the building for another use, but the idea halted due to high capital costs and the small size of the building. Uh, because this building has been sitting vacant with no present or future program city use, and it's at risk of falling into continued disrepair, DCAS on behalf of DSNY is seeking disposition approval for this property. This approval will provide the city with the flexibility to sell it in the future. Uh, this concludes my presentation. I'm happy to take any questions you may have. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to now recognize any of my colleagues. Actually, we've been joined by um, Chair Brannon. Um, so I'd like to now recognize any of my colleagues that have any questions or remarks. Council Member Marte. Hey, um, have you thought of what you can possibly do with this space other than selling it off to a private developer? Um, as stated, the Department of Sanitation has no, you know, programmed foreseeable use for it at this time. Is there an analysis of other agencies being able to occupy this space for a particular reason? Um, <clears throat> in regards to you know, discussing with other agencies, I mean, a lot of times DCAS handles that situation. And in the normal course of business, when an agency makes a request to DCAS to dispose of a surplus property through public auction, DCAS will check the approved agency needs that are approved by or for funding by OMB to see if there are other agencies that could use this property. Um, and we did not find one at this time. Thank you, Chair. I'm done. Thank you, Council Member. Thank you. This applicant panel is now excused. I would also like to recognize Council Member Felice has now Thank joined you. us. Thank you. Thank you. Council, are there any members of the public who wish to testify on this item? No. There are, if there are any remote public participants who wish to testify have not already done so, please press the raise hand button now. If you are here with us in person, please see the sergeant at arms to fill out a form of a speaker card. With there being no other members of the public who wish to testify regarding LU 63 for the 97-22 Cresthill Place disposition, this public hearing is now closed. I will now open a public hearing for LU 52 and 62 Melrose NCP. 
excuse me, Melrose Concourse NCP for two applicants brought by HPD to facilitate the development of affordable housing in three clustered vacant sites in the Bronx and Councilmember Stevens' district. I want to clarify that on March 28, 2024, the subcommittee held a public hearing taking comprehensive testimony on the entire project which altogether includes three separate actions, the designation of Urban Development Action Plan Action Area, approval of the Urban Development Action Project, disposition of a city-owned land to a developer selected by HPD, along with two items that are the subject of today's hearing, the acquisition of property by the city and, and real property tax exemption requests pursuant to Article 11 of the Pro Private Housing Finance Law. Because we have received full testimony on the project, including from HPD applicant team, we are not expecting new testimony, but I understand that we do have HPD staff available to answer any outstanding questions. For those wishing to testify remotely, you must register online by visiting the council's website at council.nyc.gov forward slash land use. Council, are there any members of the public who wish to testify on this item? No. Thank you. If, are there, if there are any remote public participants who wish to testify and have not already done so, please press the raise hand button now. And if you are here with us in person, please see one of the sergeant at arms to fill out a speaker card. With there being no other members of the public who wish to testify regarding LU 52 and 62 actions for the Melrose Concourse NCP proposal, the public hearing is now closed. She's so good, right? <laughs> we will now have the votes. The first vote is to approve East Tremont Cluster NCP LU land use items 35 and 36. This project is local, uh, located in Council Member Felice's district in the Bronx to facilitate development of three clustered vacant sites for an affordable housing project known as the East Tremont Cluster NCP. This vote is to approve designation of an urban development action area, approval of an urban development action project, disposition of city-owned land to a developer selected by HPD, as well as a real estate property tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. Councilmember Felice is in support of the application. The second vote is to approve Melrose Concourse NCP LUs 51, 52, and 62. This project is located in Councilmember Stevenson's district in the Bronx, and it seeks to facilitate the development of an affordable housing project in three clustered vacant sites in the Bronx via the destination of an urban development action area, approval of an urban development action project, disposition of a city-owned land to a developer selected by HPD, acquisition of the property by the city, and a real estate property tax exemption pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. Councilmember Stevens is also in support of the application. The third vote is to approve Genesis MPLP LU 53 and 54. This project is located in Councilmember Salam's district in Manhattan and seeks to facilitate the preservation of eight buildings. The actions involved include approval of an urban development action project, disposition of city owned land to a developer selected by HPD, as well as real estate tax exemption pursuant, pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. Councilmember Salam is in support of the application. The fourth vote is to approve LU 63 regarding 9722 Crest Hill Place, located in Jamaica, Queens, in Councilmember Williams' district. In this application, the Department of Citywide Administrative Services seeks disposition, approval of city owned property currently under the jurisdiction of the New York City Department of Sanitation and Councilmember Williams is also in support of this application. Members of the subcommittee who have questions or remarks about today's items, please let me know. Seeing none, I will now call for a vote to approve LU3536 relating to East Tremont Cluster NCP, to approve 515262 relating to Melrose Con Concourse NCP, and to approve LU53 and 54 relating to the Genesis MPLP, and to approve LU63 related to 97-22 Crest Hill Place excuse me, Crest Hill Place disposition. Council, please call the roll. Um, 
Chair Hanks? Aye on all. Uh, Councilmember Brannon? Aye. Councilmember Feliz? Feliz? Aye. Aye. Um, we're still going to call Councilmember Frias, even though I don't believe she's here. She, she just got here. Oh, she, oh, she just. So I would like to I recognize <laughs> <laughs> Majority Leader Farias has joined us. Uh, would you like us to reread the issues that we're voting on? Yes, please. I will, sorry. We are voting to approve LU 3536 relating to East Tremont Cluster uh, NCP to approve 515262 relating to Melrose Concourse NCP. We are approving to approve LU 5354 relating to Genesis MPLP and to approve LU 63 relating to the 97 22 Crest Hill Place disposition. Okay, count. Council Member Rios? I vote aye on all. Council Member Marte? Aye on all. Council Member Nurse? Aye on all. Council Member Salam? Aye on all. Um, by a vote of seven in the affirmative, none in the negative, the items are adopted and referred to the full land use committee. Um, So that concludes today's business, and I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, subcommittee council, land use staff, and the sergeant at arms for all your participation today. This meeting is hereby adjourned. <laughs>